everyone! So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a third maternity haul for you guys. Once again, it's from Time Maternity. I know this is pretty much what all my my clothing hauls are from for maternity, just because that's the only maternity store we have in our area. Um, so there's really no other competition besides like thrift stores. But I was going to the mall with my friend to go see a movie, and I had some coupons. So I thought I would show you everything I got and kind of like around the price I got um, and what it kind of worked out to be. So I wanted to get one pair of jeans or one pair of pants and three um, three tops, but it worked out to be like they seem to be having to sell a lot. But it was like if you buy three, the fourth one is pretty much free, like it's twenty five percent off. So it's like it works out that you get like ten dollars if you buy four tops. It works out that you get like ten dollars off each top, which four times ten is like forty bucks. So it's like you're kind of getting a shirt for free. And then I wanted to get a pair of pants. I wanted to get two if I could, but one for sure because the two tights that I have um, never want to stay up. The lady at the store is like, oh, like we sh whoever helped you should have recommended like a size down. She seems to think that that's what was the problem, but I'm not even going to risk it and buy them again because in case I don't like them, then I'm going to be really annoyed. So I'll still wear them, but just like maybe around the house or maybe I'll save them for when we um, go to the hospital. Because I won't really care because like they don't stay up. I'm constantly like hiking them up. So um, and then I just wanted to get like another pair of jeans in general. So just because on the weekend I like I have six pairs of maternity pants and I just found like um I was stuck on the weekend with that one pair of tights and then on the other day I had to wear like sweats or something. So it was like on one day I was constantly like hiking my pants up through the day, and then the other day I was wearing like sweats because that's all that fits me and stuff so I just wanted another pair so that I didn't have to wear sweats because sometimes I don't want to wear sweats I want to look nice um and yeah so I feel like this intro was like kind of long but um yeah let's get started disclaimer I'm in my PJs aka my sweats I just came home from the mall and Richard is on night shift while transitioning to day shift so um and I try to like film when he's not around not that I can't film when he's around, but it's just nice when you have like the house quiet to yourself and you can just talk to the camera. So that is why I'm doing it tonight and not tomorrow um, when I'm not, you know, in my PJs. Because it wasn't until after I got like undressed that I was like, oh man, like I wanted to do a haul. So anywho, um, now let's get started. So I picked up these really cute pink pants and... Time Maternity, these are all from Time Maternity. It's just like this really nice blush pink color. They are like a skinny jean uh, style. And I just thought they were really cute. Um, I didn't really feel like I had too many options, but they fit really nicely. And I'm just excited to add them to my wardrobe and feel somewhat fashionable and put together um, because I feel like I'm constantly like rotating through this tiny little section of clothes. Um, so this was the first pair I got and I did get a pair of jeans and now the pants have worked out to be about $50 a piece. Um, usually they're like $100 but I had a coupon that if you spent $100 you got $50 off. So it worked out to be $50 uh, per pair with a coupon. I think they should be like $50 regular price but they're not. So I got this pair and they're just like a dark skinny jean. The other ones have like... Um, they're more like faded and this one's just like a nice classic dark jean. I am going to be pregnant pretty much the entire, not pretty much, but like baby's due in May. So I'll be pretty much wearing pants my entire pregnancy. Maybe near the end in May. Might get away with a couple like times being able to wear capris, but probably not. It'll probably be pants. So I know I made a good investment. And then, um, I was only going to buy three shirts because that's all I needed, but and I know it works out to be like the fourth for free, but I really didn't see any that I liked. And then she showed me like the stock that they're putting out tomorrow. And I saw two, two shirts in there that I thought were really cute and I kind of want to go back and get them. Mm -hmm. I know, it's bad, I have a problem. But um, the first one I got, now they have a lot of like Valentine's stuff out right now just because Valentine's Day is coming up. Um, but I got this shirt and it's just got like black hearts on them. 
and they do sell a lot of these style shirts with like the ruching and I love them I think they just look really flattering on me and I try to stick to only these um, t-shirts not try I have so all of my maternity shirts all look like this all of my maternity t-shirts um, I think I only technically have one other maternity shirt and it's like it goes up to here and it's just not flattering on me um, I just feel like it, I need something that's tight and that hugs everything and shows off my figure because everything else just like I don't know it just does not look flattering so and that was when I got at a thrift store so I have this one and then the next top I got was this pink striped one and this is gonna be really pretty for spring but just like I said I just wanted a couple more t-shirts I could wear on the weekend um, like I said I was wearing that one that was just like wasn't flattering on me the other like because I got four t-shirts before this so this will be fun to have some winter colors and some spring colors to wear and then I also got this other shirt and it just says love like ballet whoop, ballet slippers on it and I just like how kind of like girly and feminine it is actually all these tops are kind of girly and feminine and then the last shirt I got I was gonna get one of the other twos but I saw this and I had to get it as like my free t-shirt um, because my parents are farmers and it says locally grown and I just thought that was hilarious and I will wear this all the time um, I probably will wear it even when I'm not pregnant because technically I'm locally grown so um, yeah that was the fourth top I got and the t-shirts worked out to be like $25 a piece um, which for me that's like what I pay for non maternity items so it's just crazy how much money they charge for maternity clothes and I'm not one to like try out maternity clothes online like I just I like to be able to try stuff on in person especially when it comes to maternity clothes and really like them the only problems I've had with these shirts so far is I find whatever they use on the siding kind of makes me itch so I just make sure I have a tank top underneath and then they are perfect so that's everything for this like spontaneous haul I know I look so like trapped if it's the end of the night and my makeup is probably faded and like I said I'm in my PJs but I really wanted to film this for you guys and kind of show you what they have right now at Time Attorney. So if you have a Time Attorney near you, definitely go check them out. And yeah, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, but I just I, they have cute stuff and they're the only store we have in our area. So yeah. Anywho, I am going to keep going now and I will see you guys on Wednesday for a cleaning slash organization video. Bye guys!